Good morning, everybody. Guess where Grant and I are headed? Well, first it was Starbucks to start the morning off right, but we are headed to Boone, Iowa to go to the Farm Progress Show. It has been entirely too long since we've been at a farm show. I was going to say out of state, but we went to Wyoming and South Dakota not too long ago. But I have to say, I don't know about you, Grant, but I am quite excited about seeing the different displays and exhibitors, and it sounds like there's going to be quite a lineup of farmers that you might have heard of there. So, are you excited? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Anything you're looking forward to seeing in particular? Uh, looking to see forward to seeing all the Larson Farm guys again. Excited to meet Cole the Corn Star. Never met him before. Uh, Brian's farming videos will be there. Excited to meet him again. Well, I've never met Welker, Welker Farm before, so forward to all that. So. Should be a good lineup. It's so much bigger than I thought it was going to be. The weather is perfect. It's sunny, a little breezy, but you know, we have lots of that in Nebraska, so I'm kind of used to it. Um, but this is gorgeous. So we're just looking at some old tractors now. There's lots of displays of new tractors too. And a lot of our friends are here, okay? We are going to be stationed at the Stellar Industries booth. And that who, that's who we have the fuel trailer through. Um, and then we've seen our JLG friends. Um, I know there's some friends at Fent. John Deere. Um, anyways, there's got a, a whole bunch of booths we're going to be stopping at, and we're going to be saying hi to a lot of you guys. So, very excited to be here. Well, hello. Nice to meet you. Man, nice to meet you too. I'm Laura. <laughs> Enjoying the show today? Yeah, can I get a picture? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, come stand right over here by the sofa. Yeah. So, not only are there like um, farming tractors, there's also pulling tractors, which I don't know if you guys remember from when we went to the Kentucky Farm Show and I went to our very first tractor pull, and I was kind of amazed at uh, the difference between like a farming tractor and a pulling tractor. You think it, I mean, it looks cool, it looks beefy louder than you would ever believe. I mean, you feel it in your soul. Uh, but anyway, there's all sorts of things to see here today. Okay, so farm shows seem to be moving away from like commerce, like a place where you can buy things and more towards a place where you can see new ideas. And this is definitely a new idea. This is a Claus tractor. But it's got tracks and tires. Never seen anything like this. This is cool though. I imagine this is a tillage beast. Okay, this is something you do not see every day. This is a 60 foot, okay, you heard that right, 60 foot, 24 row corn head. It's only been used once in Brazil in, uh, on a, uh, a Fent Ideal 10 combine. Um, what in the world? This thing's massive. Everybody remain calm. This is the one. This is the dream tractor right here. Front and rear duels, 8R410. It has attachment, like a place to hook on a loader, which is cool. But this, oh, I need. Christmas, please. Uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> Write that down. <laughs> this is awesome. How do I look up here, huh? Uh, pretty good. Thing's pretty big. 
I don't know what we'd use it for. I don't think it would fit down the uh, 30 inch rows. No, no, it definitely would hey, not. see you on the web once in a while. Once in a while? <laughs> so honestly, I think one of Grant's, Grant and I's favorite part about coming to show, farm shows, besides like talking to all the fans and meeting all the nice people, is the fact that we get to return to all of our favorite booths and see all of our favorite people who work at our favorite companies that we see at all these farm shows. So once you go to one farm show, they all kind of look pretty similar. There's different booths at different ones, but you get to see a lot of the same people. And as you know, one of our favorite booths to stop at is always the JLG booth. We've got three of these machines out at the farm and absolutely love them. They're primarily a construction company, but they're breaking into the ag market and uh, they're pretty useful. We like having them around. Yeah, my favorite one is that little guy. We have the same exact one. Right there. I use it all the time. That thing is awesome. Also, if you stop by the JLG booth, they were giving out buckets. Look at that buckets stack of buckets. Top of buckets. I love it. So. <laughs> so the first two days of the show, Grant and I were just seriously standing and talking and shaking hands. So we came back on the third day, the last day, and we said, oh, it'll be perfect. It'll be less people there, and we'll really just try to speed around and actually see the show. We'll try to be incognito so people don't stop and talk to us. And then somehow we got roped into taking the signs home. And we're just walking advertisements here. <laughs> you guys remember the fertilizer system we had put on this spring? That was with SurePoint Ag Systems. And we figured we'd stop in, say hi to them. We had nothing but amazing success. Not one hiccup with the fertilizer system we put on Grant's planter. I think he was uh, pretty happy with it. Grant, fertilizer system, pretty happy with it? It was definitely the nicest part of my planter. By far. By far. Yeah, it looks just like Yeah, this is this is the setup here. It's uh they can they can set you up pretty fancy. Look at this trailer, I didn't even know they did this. Look at this thing. Yeah, they do uh they do all sorts of stuff. So if you're if you're looking for some kind of flow rate management system, SurePoint's the way to go. The planter ours is parked in the shed until spring, but it will be locked loaded, ready to go when planting season rolls back around. Grant is still on the hunt for the perfect skid steer. Looking at this Kubota one. How does the inside look, Grant? Oh, man. It's really roomy. So I'm like a, I'm a tall guy. I'm like 6'4", and there is a lot of room in here. I like it. Air ride seat. Looking nice. I like yeah. Show me how that windshield comes down again. That is nifty. I like that. I like that. Yeah. And we're going to call that a wrap on the Farm Progress Show 2022. It's been a wild ride. I have loved every single interaction I've had. We were able to meet so, so many incredible people. We met up with the Larsons, the Welkers, all the uh, Cold Corn Star people. It has just been, it's been quite the experience, but we've loved every single minute of it. And if you didn't catch us at this show, we will be at the Husker Harvest Day show in Grand Island, Nebraska. So there's another chance you can come say hi to Grant and I. But this has been fabulous. Thank you to everyone who came up and said hi. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye.